Hello everybody, welcome back, and today I've got some more school content for you. And really this doesn't even just apply to school, but just in general, I feel like I get a lot of questions about my iPad, what I have on it, and what I use as a student. So if you recently got an iPad, Congrats, welcome to the crew. I feel like it is a whole new thing in college. People don't really have notebooks anymore, truthfully. I feel like I walk into my lectures and like everybody's got a laptop or iPad or something. If you've been here for a while, you know how much I love this iPad and I literally, like I'm not even kidding, I take it everywhere I go. This is my whole life. So without further ado, let's get onto it. I've had this iPad for like five, six years now, so it's not like one of the newer, newer models, but this is fantastic for everything that I've needed. I've never needed like an upgrade for any reason. The case that I have, I do have the Apple Magic Keyboard. Um, I use it sometimes, not as much as I like thought that I would because I still have my laptop, but it is nice to be able to type. I do like using it as like a dual monitor. And for that reason, like I do really like the stand that it comes with, but most of the time I'm writing with it. So I got this like second case. It's kind of more to just protect it like over anything else but but really the reason I wanted it is to have something to like hold my pencil on here and I've I really like this and I've had a lot of friends buy it just because that's something that like is kind of missing when you get the iPad and this case in particular also comes with kind of like this foldy thing and it makes it really nice because then you can like have a stand there or if you wanted something more comfortable to write on you know there's a lot that you can do with this and the only other thing that I have kind of on my iPad is I do have one of these paper-like screen protectors. You can kind of see it like when I shine the light on there. Um, it just gives us some texture and it really feels like you're writing on paper. I like it a lot. I've had, again, a few other friends buy it because they like it as well. And I've seen a lot of things about them like wearing down the tips. Like I replace my screen protector like every year or so, but I've never had to replace the tips. So I don't know if it's just this brand that I have, but I'll put the link in the description box below. Now let's get on to what I actually have on here and what the best apps I will recommend for you are. All right, so here we go on to what is on my iPad. So you can see this is my home screen. It's pretty boring. I don't really have much interesting stuff happening on here. Um, a bunch of different widgets and whatnot, whatever you want to call them. The only one that I really want to point out is this one. Um, it's called Minimalist, I think, something like that. Um, but it's really cool. It's kind of like if you have a quick thing you need to jot down on your to-do list, you kind of just like swipe down and add it. Um, and then it goes on to this widget on your home screen. So it can be really nice to kind of like refresh things if you just need to add like a quick little to-do list. I kind of think of it as like a sticky note that you would have in like a planner or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, other things that are on my iPad, you know, I've got this calendar app and then this clock app. I really like this one. Um, I find it aesthetic and you can change it, which is kind of fun. And then we've got all of my apps. I've got these camera roll apps. They're just, there's like a bunch of them on these like, I don't know, templates. I downloaded a few of them and they change like every few seconds. So I don't even really know what these ones are. <laughs> all right, so the first app I've got is this Drive app. Obviously that's Google Drive. It's pretty self-explanatory. Nothing really to delve in there. Um, good notes. All right, if you are new to an iPad, there's kind of like this big note rivalry happening where it's like, which note app is the best? For a long time, people really liked Notability because you can record like your lectures, like the audio of it, and it'll save it while you take notes. Um, so if you like are looking back at your notes, it'll kind of like play that part of the audio that it recorded, which can be really nice if you're going back and filling in your notes of like, oh, what did my professor say? Like, I didn't quite catch that and I want to fill it in later. And that's why Notability was like really ahead of the game, but GoodNotes just added that into their software like last month or something. So I've always been a GoodNotes fan and now I kind of think it beats out Notability. And just for fun, I'll go ahead and show you what my GoodNotes looks like. Um, um, so I literally have every single like notebook since I started college on here. So all my classes, everything really is on here. Um, and you can see I've organized it by semester. Want to go in like deep into it? We can. <laughs> we can look at some of these like organic chemistry notebooks. I mean, some of them are like really, really, really dense with different practice sheets and, and whatnot. One of the better things about iPads that I found is they have like this new function, especially in GoodNotes where you can scan things and then it will like put it into here and then you can like write on it which is really cool 
for any printed work material that you're getting in class. You can kind of just stick it in here and then your professor gives you the option, turn it in online. I like GoodNotes. I don't know if the other apps do this, um, but it does have like this capability to keep all these tabs open at once. So you can see I have like seven different GoodNotes tabs open and they're each like a different thing I'm working on, whether that's like class stuff for this lab I'm in or, you know, question sets for MCAT studying. Like there's a bunch of different stuff on here and you can multi-screen them and really there's a lot of capabilities and that's kind of it looks like a mess there's a lot of stuff open here but like 95 percent of the time when i'm on my ipad i'm on good notes i really like the split screen function like i mentioned before you can add other good notes tabs so if you have like two notebooks open at once or like safari if you're looking things up or sometimes i'll like play my lectures on canvas or whatever they're on while i take notes but one of the little tricks i have is i downloaded this like free scientific calculator app um, and you can add it into your screen to be like swiped out and you can see me doing this you just kind of like swipe in and out and I've used this so much like for three years I haven't had a scientific calculator on me um, unless I'm like testing or something because I just use this in class and it's so much faster than like pulling a calculator out and I don't know it's like one of my little tricks that most people don't know about now, my next app that I have is one called Forest. This is like a productivity tracker. Um, there's quite a few of them and I feel like there's a lot of different versions. Um, I don't know, I just downloaded this one one day and I've kind of stuck with it since then. So you can like plant a tree um, for a certain amount of time that you want to study for. Then it will kind of like hold you to that. So there's a couple different things you can do in here. You can opt for it to like kill the tree if you leave the app doesn't really work that well if you are like on your iPad, unless you're split screening or something. Um, but it is a nice app to have on your iPhone because then it's like, oh, if you get on Instagram, it's gonna kill the tree. Yeah, this one's just kind of fun. It can mix up, you know, keeping track of how long you're studying. Next app, I've got Khan Academy. Um, I am in love with Khan Academy. I've used it since high school and I probably watched like 80% of all the videos they've ever produced on this app for one thing or another. Um, especially if I'm like studying for a big test or things like that, like it's just a phenomenal resource. Crossword, if y'all aren't on Crossword, then you're not with the times because Crossword is so fun. Rylan and I had a big Crossword phase this um, winter and we both got this app we would like compete, but that one's really hard. I don't know if I just like don't know a lot of words or something, but Notion, um, I'm sure if you're on TikTok, you've heard of Notion. It can get really dense and complicated, so I don't even really have much to say about it because I have not really learned a lot about it, but there are some great functions on there. So this is a really cool app to have if you're a student. The rest of my apps are a little bit more niche to me. Um, I've got Sketchy, that's like a, it's like a medical, App, I guess it's like a medical study tool. They create like these really cool cartoons for hard scientific concepts. It is subscription based, but I'm using it to study for a few of my like big exams and I really like it. Anki, um, again, this is a kind of like a hidden secret that I feel like you don't hear about until you're kind of in like graduate school. Um, I was lucky enough to have somebody tell me about it early on and I've used it pretty much religiously my entire college degree and I feel like it is kind of like a little golden key of success. It can be a little bit clunky to like learn at first so be prepared for that but it is essentially Quizlet if you take like flashcards or whatever but they created this algorithm to make it like a million times better than Quizlet. It's designed for you to like retain information long term and there's kind of like a system to it so a flashcard will pop up and you'll rate it based on how well you knew it and it will then dictate like how many times you'll see it in the future and when you'll see it in the future based off that response. So again, it's like you do a certain number each day and essentially by like a long time in the future, you'll know all these terms and you'll remember all the terms. So it can be really, really, really powerful if you're in like a memorization heavy class. Other than that, I just have a few other apps. I've got my cam remote that goes to my Fujifilm camera. It's like a remote, obviously. Um, Libby is another cool app. I like this one a lot. I just heard about it the other day. Um, you can sync like any library card you have with it and you can check out books online, which is like really, really cool. Um, I think there was another one called Overdrive when I was like mi in middle school, I remember them calling it that or maybe it was something close to that. Kind of the same idea where you can literally just read these books 
like it was a Kindle app, but you're like renting them. And that is pretty much a general tour of my iPad. <laughs> not much to see really, and not much to discuss. It's literally just pretty much note taking and study resources and um, I don't know, every once in a while extracurricular stuff. Netflix on an iPad is like next level because it's so big. But go ahead and leave any comments if you have any questions. Um, I'm happy to explain more or tell more if, if you want to know anything. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.